Hello, this is Patricia from patriciafenty.com and today I have a crochet tutorial on how you can make a set of coasters and you can make these in any color that you like. They are super simple to make and they crochet up very quickly and they would be perfect for a little hostess gift, for a stocking stuffer. If you're doing craft fairs, you can make a set of these up very, very quickly. And then also we'll carry on and go into making a hot pad. And this has two layers of fabric and they're joined together with a row of single crochet. And this is all just double crochet and single crochet. And if you want to put a little loop at the top, I'll show you how to do a little chain stitch to put a little loop, but super easy to do. Now the yarn that I'm using for these projects is 100% cotton yarn and I do recommend that if you're using this for heat protection, especially for the hot pad. If you're doing the coasters, you could use a synthetic type yarn if you like, but I'm using the 100% cotton yarn, number four medium weight yarn, and I'm using a combination of sugar and cream and the Bernat Handy Crafter. So the project was inspired by this multiple color yarn by Sugar and Cream. And this is Painted Desert. This is Tangerine, Blue Jean, Wine, Country Red. And this one is Jute and then Sage Green. So this is so that I can make six coasters that go with this multiple color yarn. So for each coaster, you will need approximately 13 yards or 12 meters. And for the heat pads for each side, you'll need about 26 yards uh, or 24 meters. You'll need a little bit more of your complementary color because we'll be doing an extra crochet round for that. And then I'm using a three and a half millimeter crochet hook. And the reason for that is I want the stitches to be really tight. If you have tight tension, you could use a four millimeter crochet hook. And then I have a darning needle and scissors. Now we will begin with a slip knot. And if you're new to crochet, I do have my beginner crochet series and it shows you everything you need to know to do this project, including how to do the slip knot, how to do chain stitches, how to set up tension and so forth. So put the loop on your hook with your tail to the right and begin with a chain four. And so you want to do these chains quite loose. So um, you don't want super tight chains here because we're going to be putting 16 double crochets into this ring. So you'll create a ring by going into the top loop of your beginning chain, yarn over and pull the yarn through those two loops and create a ring. And now this may not look like a ring, but it is there. So you'll chain three and this counts as your first double crochet. And then we'll do 15 more double crochets into the center ring and we'll just crochet around this tail. So just keep that to the left. Now, don't be concerned about this business here. You want to find the center of the ring and it's sort of down to the bottom of the work and you can see it's right there. Then what I find is if you just allow the crochet hook to find the space, it'll work. So yarn over and go down into the ring and see the hook will just find that center ring. Put your hook through, grab the yarn from behind. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. And that's a double crochet. And so we'll do it again. So yarn over and just let your hook find that ring and pull the yarn from behind. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And then again, yarn over and work another double crochet into the center of the ring. And you can see the ring is starting to be more defined now. And there we go. So 
you can see there that the center ring is starting to take shape. So you're going to carry on and you'll have a total of 15 double crochets and then the 16th is that chain three. So we'll see you at the end. Now I've done 14 double crochets, so I'm doing number 15 and you just sort of have to swish, squish it over and sort of stuff these double crochets into that small ring, but it works. So that's 15 double crochets and then join this round by going into the third chain of that beginning chain three, which counted as a double crochet. So going under both loops of that chain and you'll join with a slip stitch. So round one has a total of 16 double crochets, including that beginning chain three. So now for round two, we'll start with a chain three. And again, this counts as your first double crochet and then going back down into that same stitch that you came up out of, you'll do another double crochet going into that same stitch. So you'll have two double crochets coming out of that first stitch. Then you'll do two double crochets into each stitch all the way around. So yarn over, go into the next stitch and do one double crochet and then do another double crochet back into that same stitch. So you're just going to carry on and you'll do two double crochets in each stitch all the way around. So in the end, you'll have a total of 32 double crochets, including that beginning chain three. So we'll see you at the end. All right, so coming to the end of round two, I've done 30 double crochets, including that beginning chain three. And so I'm just doing the last set of two double crochets again. So a total of 32 double crochets for this round. And we'll join this round by going into the third chain of that beginning chain three with a slip stitch. And there you go. And that's the end of round two. So for round three, we'll chain three. And again, this counts as your beginning double crochet. And then you'll see that's the stitch that you joined into that that chain three is coming out of. You'll go over to the next stitch. You'll do one, oh, sorry, you'll do two double crochets. just like that. So two double crochets into the next stitch and then into this next stitch after that, you'll do one double crochet. And then into the next stitch, you'll do two double crochets. So you're just going to alternate that all the way around doing one double crochet in one stitch and two double crochets in the next stitch. So go ahead and I'll see you at the end. Now coming to the end of row three, you'll have a total of 48 double crochets. So if your count is right, I've just come out and done two double crochets in the one stitch. I have two stitches left, so I'll do one double crochet in the second to last stitch. And then in the very last stitch, you'll do two double crochets. And again, for a total of 48 stitches all the way around, including that beginning chain three. So at this point, this is where the coasters are complete, just three rounds. But to do the hot pad, we're going to carry on and do two more rounds. So I'll just set this aside. And then I have this piece here that I've already done. And I'll show you how we'll finish this off. So you'll come to the end of your round three and you'll do your last two double crochets and then you'll cut your tail and you'll just pull that tail through and you're not going to do a chain or you're not going to fasten off. We're going to do an invisible stitch. So put thread your darning needle on like that. 
And then you're going to come in to the top of your chain. There's your one, two, three chains. And you're going to go into the stitch just above that third chain coming in from behind. And you'll go under those two V stitches with your yarn and sort of snug this up. And essentially you're going to lay this yarn on top of that third chain. So snug that up and then you're going to bring the needle back down into that stitch that the yarn came out of and going into the middle of the V there and pick up that little stitch in behind that V as well and pull that through and just sort of fuss with that a bit, snug it up and make it look like a regular stitch. And now what you'll have is you'll have your chain three underneath that and this mock stitch on top. So what I like to do for these coasters is I like to join the last double crochet and that chain three stitch together. So I'm picking up a stitch of that chain three and then coming back through the chain three and then into the double crochet just to sort of join them together so there's not a, a gap there. And then from there, you can just darn in your tail ends as you normally would. And that is the coaster all done. And of course, you can make as many of these li you like. They're super simple and you can do them in any colors that you like. So there you go. And now we'll carry on working on the hot pad. All right. So carrying on for the hot pad, we're going to do two more rounds. So at the end of round three, you'll join with a slip stitch into the third chain of your beginning chain three, just as before, and join with a slip stitch. So for round four, you'll start with a chain three, and this counts as your first double crochet, and then that's the stitch you chained into. So going into the next one, you'll do one double crochet. And then into the next stitch, you'll increase with two double crochets into that same stitch. And two. And then into the next stitch, you'll do one double crochet. And into the next stitch, you'll do one double crochet. And then increase with two double crochets into the third stitch. So you'll repeat that all the way around, doing one double crochet in two stitches and then two double crochets in one stitch. So go ahead and do that and I'll see you at the end of this round. Welcome back. So coming to the end of round four, I've just done one double crochet in each of these two stitches and I have one stitch left. And if your count is correct, you'll finish with two double crochets into your last stitch and that'll give you a total of 64 double crochets all the way around. And then you'll join into the third chain of your beginning chain three. Uh, the stitch is a little bit tight and just join with a slip stitch. And there we go. Now for round five, We'll just repeat round four. So chain three, that counts as your first double crochet. And then do a double crochet into the next stitch. And then two double crochets into the next stitch. So go ahead and repeat round four and I'll see you at the end of this round. Great, so coming to the end of round five, I've just done two double crochets into the second to last stitch and there's one more stitch left. And in this one, it'll be just one double crochet and you'll have a total of 85 double crochets for this round. 
Now we're going to join this round because this is the round that we're going to use to join the other piece on. So of course you want to create two of these round motifs and I did the one in the multiple colors and and darned in all my tail ends. And this is the one where you want to finish in exactly the same way that you finished the coasters. So you have that invisible finish there. And then what we're going to do is you will join into the third chain of the beginning chain three with this with a slip stitch and this is for your solid color motif or your second motif and then you'll chain one and now you want to darn in this tail end here so I'll go ahead and do that and so I've darned that tail end in so now we'll join the two motifs together using this accent color so what you want to do is you want to crochet so that this is the front of your piece so you'll turn your work so that the wrong side is facing you and you've got that chain one there and then you'll put your colored motif on top of that wrong side down so you have wrong sides facing each other and the right side facing you and then you have your stitches here and it has like the V stitch and you want to line those up and we'll be crocheting into the the inside stitch. Um, you know, there's an inside and outside stitch. So the one in the middle we're going to crochet into. So line up your motif, line up those stitches and you have this chain one and right behind it there's a stitch right behind it so you will go into this top loop of the front motif and the top loop of the back motif right behind the chain one and pull that through and you'll do a single crochet and then you'll go into the next stitches just picking up those inside loops and do a single crochet and then picking up the next stitch, going into those top loops, there you go. And you're just going to single crochet into the top loops of each stitch all the way around. So I'll see you at the end. Great, so coming to the end here, I just have a couple of more stitches to go. And if your stitch count is correct, 85 stitches for each motif, this will all match up perfectly. So at this point, if you wanted to make this more of a pot holder and wanted to have a little loop on here, you could just do a chain 12 or 15 or so and make a little loop. And then you could join that back into that beginning single crochet but I'm going to use this as a hot pad. So we are going to finish this off as we would with the coasters and create an invisible stitch. So it's a nice even finish all the way around. So just pull that through and put your needle on to the, to the yarn. And again, you'll come in from behind and in this case you're going into the stitch here the single crochet right behind the chain one picking up both V uh, stitches there I'm kind of getting that snag there we go so go under both those V stitches and snug that up together and sort of fuss with it a little bit and you go right back down into that same V stitch that the yarn came out of and pick up that little stitch in behind for in the back as well and that's a nice clean neat finish look how nice that is and then you'll just go ahead and darn in your tail ends and then just snip that and so there's the back of the hot pad all done and here's the front side and I'll just zoom out and so there's the hot pad all done and of course you have all your coasters to go with that if you chose to do the coasters too and there you go and doesn't that make just a lovely set and of course you can do your coasters all in the same color or I just picked out colors that were in uh, this multicolor yarn. 
So this is such a fun and easy project to do. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more creative and inspiring videos. Thank you for joining me.